talk, kindly I would like to ask everyone first to please mute or put your microphones on mute while not speaking. Okay, sige po. So ang objective po natin for this session is for you to be able to conduct an effective online learning session using Microsoft Teams as an online platform. And to do that, we'll try to navigate through the basic features and interface of Microsoft Teams and we'll identify the steps in creating themes and channels for online training and sessions. I know that this platform is not new to you because you've already used this one since uh, since Wednesday, Bayata, since Wednesday. So I think some of you are, are already familiar, but I'll still be introducing some of the other features na baka hindi niyo po alam. And then I'll also be uh, sharing with you some, some ways uh, on to uh, on how to improve school and office productivity while using the online platform. So I'll be sharing with you some of the experiences here uh, in in junior high school. Um, I, I mean in Xavier, kung paano namin ginagamit yung Microsoft Teams. So right now I'm in school, so pasensya po kung may mga background noise because um, some of the teachers are already coming back here in the office and. Uh, yeah, we're already starting our work for the distance learning program. So there are a lot of things na kailangan natin gawin and uh, we're just so lucky enough that uh, Deaf and Region 10 is uh, doing this initiative you know, to really equip our teachers, our education supervisors with all the necessary tools in preparation for the new normal. Speaking of the new normal, Here's a picture, diba? I think we can all foresee that this is going to happen, maybe for some. Like in our case, we are expecting that come July or August, when uh, the classes will begin, we'll be transitioning to online classes and online learning. So uh, we were joking a few days back na baka yung faculty room nga namin magiging call center-ish na siya because everyone, all the teachers will be on their microphones, the administrators will be on their headsets, with their microphones and then facing their monitors and then teaching students. I said there's what we call naman online learning and then um my mga call centers na, na nagkikater ng uh, similar scenario diba, or similar cases. So uh, parang ganun yung transition natin. But in your case or on our case as a uh, as administrators or school leaders, you know, we also have to adapt with these changes and uh, we need to learn these new tools. Which is why we have Microsoft Teams. I think that when we were talking I was hearing uh, your conversations with Mary na you, uh, na, na in Google, Google Meet is actually a teleconferencing app. And then she also made mention that Microsoft Teams is way different. Because here in Microsoft Teams, it's a collaboration tool. So hindi lang siya for video conferencing. It's also an application where you can store your files, you can share files, you can chat with your with your colleagues or the members of your team. So you can also create uh, create. Uh, teams and channels, subgroups, and um, you can also collaborate with documents all together. Mamaya, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano mag-collaborate and how you could uh, actually edit documents together, whether you're in Bukidnon right now or uh, whether you are in uh, in Osamis, pwede niyo pong ma-access yung file ko na nandito sa desktop ko and we'll try to explore that later. So you can use Microsoft Teams also to have instant conversations and make phone calls, host meetings, and like I said, share files. So ito pong Microsoft Teams. By the way, um, hindi pa ako binabayaran ng Microsoft to do this, but part of uh, being a Microsoft Education Ambassador po, we really do promote um, the, the tools kasi we also saw that these tools which are being introduced to us by Microsoft are really effective tools for education. So gaya nga ng sabi ko, uh, this one is being used for remote learning and not just for remote learning, but also for collaboration among staff and uh, and uh, employees. You know? So here, we can enable a secure online classroom in Microsoft Teams. So gaya ng sinabi ni Mary, it has an LMS feature. Yung, uh, LMS stands for Learning Management System. So you can manage your students, you can manage your teachers, you can manage your staff and your employees in this platform. Di siya na, yung feature na yan, di nagagawa sa Google Meet. Because in Google Meet, if you want to come up with that feature, you have to go pa to another app, which is 
uh, Google Classroom. So, dito sa Microsoft Teams, you don't need to switch apps. You just have to just uh, download this app, Microsoft Teams, at nandiyan na lahat ng features. It keeps remote students engaged and even our employees, no, our staff, colleagues. We can also conduct on-demand webinars just like what we are doing right now. So, you just have to join a webinar sa iba't ibang mga channel. We can do different webinar simultaneously in just one application. And then we can also use this tool to facilitate distance learning. Kagaya nga nang ginagawa rin natin ngayon. This is what we call distance learning because you are on your respective divisions and I'm here in CDO, I'm here in our school, but we are learning all together. So, yun po. That's how we can use Microsoft Teams. Now, just to give you an idea, ito po yung technical requirements na kailangan. Kasi medyo mabigat po kasi yung Microsoft Teams. Based on our experience, some of my colleagues um, have difficulty downloading it, probably because their laptop or their device specifications have been uh, outdated. So just to give you an idea, ito po yung mga technical requirements for you to have Microsoft Teams run smoothly and seamlessly on your device. So... Um, I'll just show it there. No, anyway, the slide na, na, na pinapakita ko sa inyo ngayon will be posted later on. Para at least if you need to take a look at the technical requirements again, you can just view it uh, in a later time. Okay, so here in Microsoft Teams, we can meet virtually, just like what we are doing. It's the easiest way to stay in communication no, for, for groups of educators, school administrators, school personnel, even teachers and students. So here po in Microsoft Teams, you can schedule online meetings in our Teams calendar. And I'll show that later. No? So I'll just go over yung mga different features. No? And then later, we'll have a demo. And perhaps I can also ask you guys to try it out on your own. And then we'll also do some collaboration activities. Gaya nga nang sabi ko na we'll try to access my desktop. Itong screen ko po ngayon, you'll try to access it on your end. No, But yeah, here are some other... Here are some other here are some of the major features and uh, the basic features of Microsoft Teams. You can mention the faculty and staff or our colleagues' name in Teams to start a conversation. If you're familiar with Facebook or Twitter, if you want to tag someone on a post, we can also do that in Microsoft Teams. You just type, starting with the at symbol, tapos yung name po. You can just tag a person or mention a person here in this platform. We can also create announcements to keep everyone in our group informed and on the same page. So if you want to come up with announcements or um, siguro you can also use certain channels for, for professional learning activities. Uh, so pwede po, pwede po yan sa Microsoft Teams. And we can also meet from a channel to pull your class into a lesson or presentation. So... Um, yeah, kagaya nga nito, uh, dito sa, sa team natin, there are different channels. I'll show that later. No, and we can also chat privately with individuals or groups. So, hindi lang siya limited to the teleconferencing app, but you can also use this platform to chat with your colleagues in private. So, pwede kayong mag-PM. So, bakit pa tayo gagamit ng Facebook Messenger or um, Google Chat if all the applications that we need to collaborate is all in this platform. And that's what I really like about Microsoft Teams. Now, how do we download Microsoft Teams? There are three versions for nito. We have the website app. You just have to log in using teams.microsoft.com on your web browser. Yung pangalawa naman is via the desktop app, which I think most of you are using right now. No, um, you just have to download it onto your computer or, or on your laptop. And then yung third po is via mobile app. Uh, although okay po lahat, no, you can access the, the application through these three different um, uh, platforms. Uh, kaso nga lang po, there are some limitations when you use the mobile app and the, desk, uh, and the, and the website version. So I really suggest na if you want a full blast uh, usage of this uh, application, then I would really have to prefer and recommend na i-download niyo po yung desktop app kasi mas marami po tayong magagawa ng mga features and we can maximize these features in Microsoft Teams when using the desktop app version.
a team. It's a group of people. No, we are all in one team, and then we can create here our posts, our announcements, and our. So we can also schedule our our meetings, our online meetings here. So teams and channels helps groups of people get organized with more focused conversations. So what are teams? Ito po yung dashboard na uh, yung pinapakita ko po ngayon. That's our dashboard here in school. So as you can see, in Microsoft Teams, we have different teams. These are overall group of people working on a project or or a certain group of people lang, di ba? So they can range in size from a small product team to a larger organization. So kagaya po nung nakikita niyo po sa screen niyo, we have a team po for, for faculty and staff, we have a team for the administrators, we have a team po for the, for the distance learning or online learning, we also have a separate team for the webinars. So classic classic po, we can just group the... Uh, teams, or we can just group people according to teams. So, yan po, yan po yung first feature. And then, in a team, there can only be 10 owners per team, wherein owners can add new members and other owners as well. And then you can also manage the team settings, like enable or disable the mentioning, allow GIFs or GIFs, stickers, memes, and moderation settings. Um, if you've noticed po, or if you haven't tried it yet, Pwede po tayong maglagay ng mga stickers or mga moving graphics dito po sa team natin. But um, as a moderator or if the owner uh, opts to disable those settings, pwede po natin gawin yun if you are the owner. The owner can... In our in our case, po, yung sa faculty and staff, po, there are different committees, different subgroups. So by default, my general channel po kami, wherein everyone can post. And then there's also an, uh, an announcement channel kung saan everyone can view but not post. And then we have also private channels. Yun pong nakikita niyo po, ito, yung, sa, yung may, may lock na icon dito po. Uh, for example, Grade 7 Deliberations na channel. Yan po yung channel wherein all the Grade 7 teachers can only access. Exclusive lang siya for all the Grade 7 teachers. Same goes with Grade 8 Deliberations, Grade 9, and then the non-teaching personnel. So, ito pong faculty and staff na team namin, all the employees in our school are loaded into it. So, it's much more easier to communicate between staff, teachers, and the uh, and employees, because they are all in this platform. And then, if you just want to call up a meeting for a uh, particular group, you can just view them on the channels. Me as the the owner, a part uh, as an owner also of this team, uh, I can moderate the settings and I can also view kung uh, alin po ba yung mga private channels and which channels are in public. All right, let's now go to the communication part. So I was introducing a while ago how we can add people into different teams and channels. Now, how do we converse in teams? There are threaded conversations. We can create threaded conversations in teams. And also we can add these in different channels where you can reply directly to a post or announcement, keeping the discussion easy to follow. So I think that try nyo po um, in the past days, na pwede, nyo pong mag, pwede po kayong mag-reply sa, sa, sa isang announcement or isang post, 
no? Um, just like in the example here, I I posted an announcement and then pwede pong mag-reply yung, yung kasama ko po uh, to ask about certain details about the, the, the announcement. Aside from that, we can also do private conversations, which I've mentioned earlier. No, we can just select the chat icon on the left side of the application, then have private conversations with our teammates or our colleagues. In our case, ito po ang team na to. I think all of us are loaded into it. So, pwede po tayong mag-message kahit nasa, for example, kahit nasa Osamis ka, tapos you want to chat someone from from Bukidnon, we can do that here in Microsoft Teams. Then you can also do group chats if you want. No, I'll show that later kung paano tayo gumawa ng mga group chats. Yeah, and uh, we can also do collaboration and meetings here in Microsoft Teams. So aside from using this application as a communication tool, we can also use this tool for collaboration and meetings. So we can share files in a particular channel. So uh, example po, um, if you have an HRD channel sa inyong division team, pwede po kayong mag-share ng mga files on that channel, which is exclusive only for that particular channel. So hindi po siya makikita ng iba. Kasi that, uh, those files which are being shared is only exclusive to that particular channel. So later, ipapakita ko po sa inyo kung how we can share the files and how we can make them exclusive for a channel. And then, of course, ito pinaka-importante because you might have plans later on to adopt Microsoft, uh, adopt Microsoft Teams in your respective divisions and you want to call up meetings. It's very easy lang po to, come, uh, to conduct meetings and online sessions in Microsoft Teams. Uh, just below the the theme or the channel, meron po dyang conversation icon. Uh, click nyo lang po yung naka-highlight na mute now icon in the compose box. And then you can then schedule the meeting there. So once you are on the meeting po, on the online meeting, you can see there the different desktop controls. So I hope, I think, uh, I hope you are all acquainted already as to how these desktop control apps, uh, these meeting controls uh, work because no? you've been using this platform now for, for three days straight already. So you have the turn on off video, the microphone mute, share presentation. We have more options if you want to change the background. Um, Unlike po dun sa Google Meet wherein you have to install a separate plugin to change your background kasi narinig ko nga kanina uh, there was a question asked how do you change the background no of your of your of your video so uh, unlike po sa Google Meet wherein you have to install a separate plugin my built in feature na po diyan si Microsoft Teams so uh, I'll show that later na lang no then you can also have the chat you can check on the participants and of course the end meeting. So yan po yung mga different desktop controls. I think right now, uh, there is an update which was being released by Microsoft. Um, originally kasi yung mga meetings natin is only two by, um, yeah, two by two pane. So meaning, apat lang po yung nakikita natin. But I think right now, we can already see up, up to nine people, nine active people in one screen. And there's also a raise hand feature na. So I don't know if na, na try nyo yung mga raise hand feature, but we'll try to uh, explore those features later during the, the hands-on demonstration. Okay, conducting online sessions, steps in using Microsoft Teams. Okay, so eto na po. Let us now have a demo on using Microsoft Teams. So eto po yung ipapakita ko ngayon. First is how to set up and customize your team, and then collaborate in teams and channels, work with posts and messages, we'll try to upload and find files, manage meetings, set up and attend live events, and then explore the different apps and tools. So we'll now try to navigate through the application. I'll be showing you now my desktop
Okay. okay po. So I hope makikita niyo na po yung desktop app po. So I think you can see some of your faces here. Ito po yung sabi ko kanina na the latest update po for Microsoft Teams, you can view up uh, up to nine people. Uh, dati po kasi four active people lang po yung nakikita. But right now, with the recent active, uh, recent update, mas marami na po tayong nakikita sa screen natin. So this is Microsoft Teams. Let's go over the different features. By default po, makikita niyo po yung different teams po, kung saan po kayo yung members or owners. So, ito po on my end, since I'm using Mom Shirley's um, account, so I have here two, two teams where I'm a member of. Now, if you're planning to come up with your own team, what you can do is just click on this button here, join or create team. And then your first option for create team. Now there's a uh, pop up po na lalabas with the different team types asking you to select a team type. There are four different team types. The first one is the class. If you're a teacher and um, you're planning to use the LMS feature of Microsoft Teams, then I would suggest that you use or you, you select this team type, the class team type. Uh, but if you're just um, planning to come up with a team for a group of teachers, you can use the PLC. If uh, for staff and administrators, you can use this uh, third team type, the staff type. And then for extracurricular or extra other uh, leisure type na mga teams, you can select the fourth one, others. But um, for now, I'll try to use the class uh, for, for this demo. Okay. So after clicking on the class type, it will ask you for a team name. I'll just name this sample team. You can add a, an optional description, then click next. So it will now set up the team. After setting up the team, it will prompt you to ask uh, to add students and teachers. Pali yung students po, yun po yung mga members ng team natin. And then the teachers po are the owners of the team. So for example, I'd like to add um, Sir Ralph. Si Sir Ralph kasi yung ano, <laughs> parati kong example. Also from last week, Sir Ralph has been my example. So let's say Sir Ralph will be my student. I'll also add Sir Raymond. Just have to type in their names and then you can uh, select them from a drop down list. And then let's add uh, Mom Pressy. Hi, Mom Pressy. So I have three students here. So you add Panatin, si Sir Rolly, for example. Oh, hi, Sir Rolly. And Then I'll add them. Click on the add button. And they are now added as a student to this newly created team na ginawa ko po. Now if you're planning to add other owners or teachers in this team, same process po. Just have to select the name. For example, I'll add Mom Becky as one of the teachers in this team. Search for her name. Then click add. And we are now done. Yeah. So we have now just created our team. Ito po yung magiging itsura niya. Since this is a class team type, iba po siya sa nakikita niyo sa existing team that we have right now because it has the learning management system features. Kagaya po ng upload class materials. We have also the class notebook. Dito po sa tabs, assignments, and grades. So if you've noticed po yung existing team po natin ngayon, where we are in right now, wala po siyang ganitong mga features. Because I'm guessing na the ITOs po na nag-set up ng existing team natin ngayon did not select the class team type. But if you are planning to come up with a classroom type team, then ito po yung lalabas. So in this team po, we have different members. And as an owner of the team, you can toggle through the settings 
by clicking on the three dots here, the more options, then click manage team. So as you can see here, we have the dashboard wherein we can see all the members of the team. So dalawa po yung owners natin, our teachers, me and um, Miss Becky. And then we also have four students. We have Sir Ralph Mampresi, Sir Rolly, and Sir Raymond in this team. Now, if you want to add more members, just click on add members. And then search for the name, whether you want to add that person as a student or a member, a teachers or an owner. So the minsan, when we already created a team, we want to add up more members or baka may na out tayo na person or employee, then you can just add them right after the creation of the team. So yan po, that's how you create the teams. You can also check here the different channels. Toggle through the settings, use the analytics for some data about the app usage, then also the different apps. Yan po. Now let's go to creating channels. So like I said po kanina, channels are intended for different subgroups. So for example, I wanted to create a separate channel for those members of the team who are from the division of Bukidnon. So what I can do here is um, click on this button and then click add channel. Then let's say I'll name this division of Bukidnon. Then you can set for the privacy, whether standard or private. Kung standard po, lahat po ng mga members of the team from the general channel can view the post files, conversations, meetings, sa channel na to. But um, if you wanted to set, uh, if you want it to be exclusive, you can set it to private. So I'll set it to private. Click next. It's now adding the channel. Then I'll search for the members. Let's say I wanted to add Mom Presi and Sir Rolly as members of this um, channel. And I'll add them there. So I now have a private channel wherein yung members ng Pudito is Mom Presi and Sir Rolly. So yung ibang members po ng team ko. Uh, like Sir Raymond, Mambeki, and uh, also Sir Ralph will not be able to view the files, post announcements, even the video conference calls in this channel. Po. Only Sir Rolly and Mampresi can view the posts and announcements in this channel because it's an exclusive channel. But as an owner, I can view this one. Kahit hindi pa ako na adito, mag-view ko po na merong ginawang existing channel or merong ginawang private channel by using the manage team dashboard. So makikita ko po dito, let's say I was not added or someone created a private channel uh, and then me as the owner, hindi po ako na-add. Possible po yan na mangyari. But as an owner, I'd also get to see kung meron bang mga secret exclusive channels na hindi, hindi ako na-add because I can check it out here on my dashboard. Dito po. So I have your channels. I can see that. Division of Bukidnon has been created and it is a private channel. And I can also edit the channel since I'm the owner of this team. Let's now proceed to postings and announcements. So by default po, alam niyo naman po kung paano mag-post dito sa channel. So for example, I can type here, hello. It's automatically posted in this channel. But what if po I wanted to create an announcement which is... Um, eye-catching and um, easy to follow. So we have here some options here. Dito po sa baba, we have the format option. Click niyo po yan. So may lalabas po ng mga formatting options. You can click here, announcement, instead of new conversation. So kanina pong uh, na-post ko na hello, that was a conversation post. Now I want to come up with an, an announcement. So I'll select this type. And with this, you can add a headline, a subhead. So for example, um, division meeting. 
Then you can add here a subheading. For example, May 22, 2020. Um, please uh, enter the link on the schedule tab. Yeah. And then you can also add different illustrations just to make it colorful. You can also mark it as important para ma-notify po lahat ng mga members on this channel that this is an important announcement. Then once you are done, click on send. So yeah, you now have an announcement posted on this channel. Now, lahat po ng mga post po dito, announce posts and announcements, will not be seen po by the other members na kasama sa team. Okay. So that's how you post, or that's how you create posts po and announcements. Now, we can also do private messages here in Microsoft Teams. Notice the sidebar here. Dito po. There is, uh, the first one here is the activity that's where you can see your notifications. Like in Facebook, the bar, you are notified with posts, mentions, which you are tagged in, or tagged with. So, makikita po yan dito. And then, just next to it, just below the activity icon, we have the chat. This is where we can, you, we can actually use this feature for private messaging. So, to create a private message, click on this icon here, new chat, enter a name, for example, um, I'll type Mom Pressy, Mom Pressy's name, and then I'll type here a message, hi Mom Pressy, hi Mom Neng. There, and now it is being sent to Mom Prezi as a private message. Now, if you want to do more conversations with this person, you can also um, select through the options here. You can do a video call with this particular person or a video call uh, or an audio call, or you can also share your screen with this person. There, so now you type to see Mom Compressi. So, hi, Dave. So, nakikita niyo po dyan. You can also add reactions po sa mga, sa mga responses or even posts. So, heart po natin yan. Okay. And you can set up meetings. You can also do formatting here. I think in this channel, lahat naman po ng taga ed are already enrolled in Microsoft teams, if I'm not mistaken, ha? so kahit sino po pwede niyo pong ma-message dito, dito na platform. So I'm not sure even, I think your SDS, your respective SDS are already in Microsoft Teams, so if you want to message them via this application, it's easy lang po to, to type their names and send them a message here. No, and then you can also do group chats. So for example, I'll add here um, I'm Pressy and Sir Oli. And I think Sir Albert. No, it's not Sir Albert. Okay, so let's say we have three of them. I want them to, uh, I want to send them uh, a message. Hello, ma'am and sirs. So, Ito po yung, yung message ko po, ma-re-receive ma po nila. Ni Ma'am Pressy, Sir Rolly, and Sir Albert. So kagaya po ng Facebook, it's really just easy to, to use. You can create group chats, you can create private messages, you can even do group calls dito po sa app na to. There, I think they are now responding. Hi Sir Dave, hello, kumusta? Sir Albert is also typing. Hi, Sir Albert. How are you? I'm okay, sir. I hope you're okay, po. Yeah, so that's how you create group chats and do private messaging. Let's now go to file uploads.
So to upload a file po, uh, I'm taking you back now to our existing team, to our current team. So as you can see po, here on my end, I have different channels. On your end, baka dalawa lang yan. You have the general and then the batch two. But I'm included in other teams. I'm in included in different channels like batch one and batch three. Kasi I've spoken with batch one already and batch three for next week. So, ito pong mga different channels, hindi po nila ma-access yung mga files na nasa uh, sa kabilang channel. Except for those which are set to public, kagaya po ng general. So, if you want to share a certain file, which is exclusive to a particular channel, like in batch 2, dito po, I'll just click on the channel, click on the files tab dito po sa taas. <laughs> And then, to upload a file, click on Upload. And then, search nyo lang po yung, yung file na gusto nyo pong i-share. This is, by the way, the slide which I am currently using right now, which i-share ko po sa, sa inyo. I'll open it. And it is now uploaded onto our files tab. So lahat po ng members ng channel na to, you can access my slide which is uploaded on the files tab. So kung gusto niyo pong balikan yung presentation na to, you can just view my slide po which is uploaded here po sa files. You can download a copy of it or if you want to add more files here, you can click upload or you can create new folders to, to organize your documents and then you can also Create a new Word document, Excel, PowerPoint, or a form also. So that's how you upload files for. Let's now go to scheduling meetings. How do we schedule meetings here in Teams? So if you're planning to come up with a meeting po dito sa Teams, punta po, dito, punta po tayo dito sa baba. Here on the conversation tab po or conversation box, meron pong video icon na meet now. Click po natin yan. And then just add a subject. If you want to meet now, click on meet now. So if you want to come up with a meeting na agad-agad siya, diba? so pwede pong click natin yung meet now. Or if you want to schedule it, we click on schedule a meeting. Then you can add the title. The description, baka yung agenda, gusto nyo ilagay. You can add it here. You can add the required attendees and then click on send para ma-post po siya sa channel nyo or sa team nyo po. And then everyone who are invited for, for this uh, video meeting will be notified po. So I, I won't be doing a sample kasi baka malito na kayong lahat because I think there are three existing video conferencing uh, video video meetings na dito po sa channel na to. So I won't be adding to the confusion. But I hope you got the steps. So add a title, add the required attendees, type in the agenda, then set also the date, kung kailan po yung, yung meeting nyo, then click on send. Then once you have clicked on send, it will be posted here sa channel po natin. And everyone will be notified kung kailan po yung, yung scheduled meeting natin. So that's how you create scheduled meetings. Let's now go to screen sharing. So I'm not so sure if um, lahat ba marunong mag screen sharing. I'll go back now to the, the meeting. So what I'm doing right now is I'm currently sharing my desktop application or my computer. Same goes with Google Meet kanina. Miss Mary also shared her screen, her desktop screen with you para makita po sa lahat and her PowerPoint presentation as well. How do we share our screen? Easy lang po. Um, just beside the microphone icon on your, on your team and you're on the call, meron po ditong icon na share. So if you're using the desktop app, um, nasa ano po siya, just beside the microphone button or microphone icon, just click on that one and then you can start sharing your screen. There are different options that will pop out. 
desktop if you want to share your entire computer screen. Meron pong other options na you can just share your PowerPoint presentation or share po yung certain application. So if you want if you just want to share your word, pwede pong select niyo yan. Um ito po I'm sharing my desktop. Pero kanina po uh, I only shared my PowerPoint presentation. So right now, if it's okay with you, itry po natin yung feature na to. So anyone from the participants who would like to share their screen, I'll stop from sharing na. If you want to try, careful po tayo before mag-share ng mga screens. Make sure lang na um, the screen which you are about to share is um, free from personal information or embarrassing na mga pictures. Yan, I think, okay, Mom Becky is sharing her screen right now. Thank you, Mom Becky. Sige, sino pa po bang gustong mag-try to share their screen? Share their screen. Ah. I'm gonna share the screen. Yes, Mary. It's currently sharing with us. Yeah. Also, Miss uh, Marites, there. So, if the screen sharing na button po, you can use this again if you want to share your desktop screen or if you want to share your PowerPoint presentation. There are also other, I know. Uh, okay. uh, I'll share now my desktop app, ha? Huh? There are also different features here while you are on the call, like the raise your hand feature, raise hand feature. Taka, pakita ko muna. Okay. Um, can you stop? Presenting po, kung may nagpe-present po, uh, currently presenting or sharing their screen para ma-share ko po yung desktop ko. Thank you. Okay, parang nagka problema. It's not sharing. But anyway, um, just beside for the more actions, no, um, the ba yung mga controls po dyan sa Microsoft Teams po on the conference call, you have the third camera on, mute and unmute. We have share, screen sharing, tapos more up, more actions. Tapos beside po niyan is the raise your hand feature. So yung raise your hand po is you can use that. Uh, for example, for for a quick count, or pederin po if you want to say something uh, which you don't want na maka interferes uh, current speaker, uh, you can use that one. So try po natin. Raise your hand po, and then after raising raising your hand, kindly um, click it again para ma lower nyo po yung inyong hand. Sige, try natin. Just simple activity. Can everyone kindly lower your hand? Your lower your hands. Sige, lower po natin. Nakikita ko po may may nag-raise up po ng kanilang mga hands. Lower po natin ang ating mga hands. Quick exercise lang or quick ano, quick poll, no? How many of you here have watched or are, are watching Korean drama. Sige nga, try natin. We are how many in this call? 87. Sige nga, raise your hand if you're watching K-drama. Yan, 11 people are raising their, their hand. 14, ang dami ah. 17, 18, 19. Ilan pa ba? Madadagdagan pa ba? 88 kasi tayo dito. Raise your hand po if you are watching K-drama, currently watching a K-drama, 20. Okay, hands down po. So, sa mga nag-raise po ng kanilang mga hand, anyong, anyong mga opa? 
Okay, 10 people raised their hand. Can you lower your hand na po? Thank you. So yeah, you can use that option or that feature po dito sa Microsoft Teams for a quick poll, quick count, or if you want to say something and you don't want to interrupt the speaker, you can just raise your hand. And then I'd also want to share with you the, the, ano, the collaboration part. But I'm having problem right now with, with sharing my screen. Wait. Anyway, sige po. so that's the um, raising of hands. And then if you also would want to record your your session for today you can just click on the three dots yung more actions meron po diyang option to turn on the recording start recording or stop recording so by default po isa lang po yung pwedeng mag-record ng session so uh, most likely yung team owner or yung meeting yung nag-set po ng meeting or even the facilitator can record the meetings the purpose why we are recording our calls is that uh, for you to be able to look back on the recording or on the session if ever you missed out something due to poor internet connectivity. Because there are times po kasi na, na the internet connection will not be stable or baka makat kayo sa in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the session then may mga parts po na important na, na miss out niyo po. You can just view the video back. Uh, using the recording. Okay, okay. We also have the different tools here in Microsoft Teams. Kaso di ko siya ma, ma share. Something's wrong right now with my Teams. Ayaw niya mag, ano, mag share ng screen. But anyway, I do hope you got um, the you got a gist of the basic features in, in Microsoft Teams. Marami, marami pa pong pwedeng explore but we have limited time so I'm leaving it all up to everyone to explore the other features of Teams but I hope right now you are equipped already as to how you can come up with your own team and create your own video conference calls or webinars if you have plans if you have plans to push through it on your respective divisions so right now before i wrap things up i would like to share with you some of the best practices na, na ginagamit namin or ginagawa namin using microsoft teams here in our school so uh, the first one is we've used this as a work from home setup while on school shutdown so we had our school shutdown last march and then parang bigraan kasi yun. So we didn't have any idea how we could um, still work as faculty and staff and administrators where, where when in fact the university president declared na hindi na pwedeng pumasok sa school. Kasi bawal lumabas. Diba? Sabi nga ni Kim Chu. So what we did is that we enrolled all our, our staff and employees in Microsoft Teams. And then we asked them to use uh, to, to download this application para we can still communicate online. Kasi mahirap kasi pag iba't ibang channel or iba't ibang mga applications yung ginagamit namin. There's option for Google Meet, meron ding Zoom, may Facebook a workplace, but we wanted it to be established na parang isahan lang talaga for everyone. So we decided to use Microsoft Teams. And then aside from that, we also used Microsoft Teams for our year-end deliberations. Kagaya nga nang nakita niyo kanina, we have different channels for the deliberations. And then we also have used this for our webinars for faculty retooling in preparation for our um, online classes and asynchronous classes come August or July. And then we've also used this platform for our community uh, meetings, gatherings, kasi bawal ng mga face-to-face -face and mass gatherings ngayon. So, um, we use this one, uh, we use Microsoft Teams for our formation activities, for our kumustahan, you know, we want the sharing of experiences during quarantine, gamit po yung Microsoft Teams nyan. And then, we also use Microsoft Teams for our summer distance learning program, 
Um, currently, we have 44 students enrolled in our summer summer classes. So online po lahat. So we use this tool for Microsoft Teams. We added our students also to Microsoft Teams para ma-access nila po yung mga learning materials na kailangan i-comply na for, 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 for summer. And then... Yeah, we are also planning to use the platform for our online classes come July or August na. So, yun. Just um, a reminder lang po, when using Microsoft Teams, no, I know medyo it's a bit technical. Marami kang pwedeng gawin in Microsoft Teams. And some of you might be anxious on using it. Uh, currently, right now, I'm also training other teachers in our different units. And one of the reactions, really, when I introduced Microsoft Teams to them is that they are anxious in using that tool. Pero really, the key here is just practice, practice, practice. Practice and be adaptable to change. I know there will be technical difficulties which will come along the way during the first few weeks of implementing Teams. But eventually, when you get the hang of it, I think right now you're you're on your third day for some of you. Third day you're upload some Microsoft Teams, and I can see na medyo you're already adaptable with the platform, so that's good. And then, of course, there will be concerns on internet connectivity and device. You know, so, may mga issues tayo dyan. And then there's also account and password recovery, na mga concerns. So I think. It would be best now. We also tap our uh, our respective IPOs to set up the teams, to set up the accounts before using this platform, and then of course we have to be willing to learn and adapt to technology for this platform to really work. So we set aside our anxiety and be open to the idea na kailangan natin mag uh, mag switch. We have to um, transform education into this new setup. Because right now, we are only given limited choices. And lastly, here are just some tips before I wrap things up or before I end today's session. Because it's already 11.17. I know na uh, yung iba baka nagugutom na. No? So just some tips lang. When conducting sessions here on Teams, make sure to find a quiet, conducive space when recording yourselves in a slideshow, because you might be planning. You, you might have plans later on to conduct your own webinars. For you might have plans later on to come uh, to conduct webinars or uh, online webinars for your respective divisions. So make sure lang to be in a conducive space when you are presenting yourself online. Ask for consent. Always ask for consent when recording sessions. Kanina hindi na ako nag-ask ng consent kasi Miss Mary naman asked for your consent there sa Google Meet. So I think everyone is aware that our sessions for the entire day are recorded. And then of course, if you are the speaker or if you're the facilitator, make sure not to look sloppy and dress for your audience. May nakikita ko mga webinars sa Sa, sa Facebook na yung mga facilitators nakasando lang or naka, naka duster kasi they are all working from home or speaking from home. Uh, let's try to avoid doing that. no As facilitators, we still need to dress up kahit from top above lang. No? Tapos uh, baka yung mga pambahay natin nasa baba na lang, yung mga shorts. No? And then of course, clear desktop from any personal files or data before sharing your desktop. So we don't want to breach any um, confidential data because you might have uh, your credit card details or your personal info, birthday or family pictures na nasa desktop niyo po, tapos na share po siya. It might be um, recorded or baka mas screenshot po siya. So um, we put our privacy and we put our data at risk and we don't want that to happen so yun po yung mga tips in my in using microsoft teams time check it's 11 20 maraming salamat po before we wrap before i end please share your insights about microsoft teams um using the Menti, using mentimeter I know the division of CDO and Bukidno and even the team, the regional team uh, the, from the regional office know about menti.com. They were calling me a few 
um, last year, yung boy menti. Kasi ako mo yung nagme-menti every time magsa-session kami sa best. So, right now, I want you to go to menti.com and then our code po is 4363371. Please share your learning insights. So, type ko na lang po dito. Sa chat, menti.com. Code po is 436371. So your insights po on Microsoft Teams. Again, yung code po is 43... 6371. So again, marami pa pong pwedeng gawin in Microsoft Teams. There are a lot of features. You can even add more applications and tools to it. You just have to explore the entire platform. You can add YouTube videos. You can add polls. You can add assignments and quizzes. If you're planning to use the classroom type, and the team there may mga insights na lang dumalabas so learned much today thank you it is good to use for we can upload files and others yes po actually yan po yung talagang highlight ng Microsoft Teams because it's not just a teleconferencing app you can also share files Microsoft Teams made it all for us it is indeed designed for educational and professional purposes yes um Microsoft, when they introduced Teams, it was for for organizations lang muna. But they found out na pwede rin siyang gamitin for, for education. That's why they added more features to it. Another very relevant topic, platform is good for training that requires an output. Yes, exactly po. That's, uh, that's, uh, uh, that's actually a good idea. Kasi if, for example, may training kayo and you wanted them to submit something online, hindi na nila kailangan i-email sa inyo yung files. They will just have to upload it on that channel. Kung saan po uh, existing niyo po, you, uh, kung saan po members ang inyong mga participants. It's very useful. Kung baga, one-stop shop na siya. Yes, tinuod yun na, sir. Platform is very good. Can be used for online communication. Enjoyable, though it's somewhat complicated. Kagaya nga ng love, sir, di ba? Enjoyable siya, pero complicated din. Thank you, sir. Okay, yes, thank you, sir. God bless din po. A good package for a virtual classroom. Yes, tama po yan. Informative sharings. Yeah, so keep your insights um, flowing. Nakikita po yan ng lahat. Thank you, sa la- thank you po sa lahat ng... Um, uh, thank you po sa time ninyo and for listening. No? Um, again, thank you, Division. Uh, thank you so much, that Ed Regental, for allowing me to share about Microsoft Teams. Thank you po. And good morning, Sir Iman and Ma'am Becky. Good morning. Uh, okay, thank you very much, Dave. We have lots of people who raised their hands. They may have some questions to ask. Sige po. May mga questions po ba? Yeah, we have uh, NN, Jonette Clarpondel. You are raising your hand. Lorna Pinonal, you are also raising your hand. Nancy is also raising her hand. So they may have some questions. Are feel free there? Po to, to speak up. If may mga tanong po, feel free to speak. You can um, you can unmute your microphones. Hello. Baka nag-raise hands lang ito sila trying their icons ano ba? Ah, baka they're, they're trying lang po. Can the owner, uh, my question po dito, can the owner automatically create video conferences for the channels po? Yes po, Sir Philip, you can do that as a team owner or a channel owner. You can create your own conference calls or video conference calls po. No, Sir Dave, question. Yes po, Sir. Question, Sir. 
uh, here in Kamigin, we have been using Teams, pero limited um, uh, audience. Kay most of my EPSs have their my, uh, Microsoft 365 accounts na gagamit of R10. While ako sa deped.gov.ph na yun. So kung organize ko o meeting, di sila kasulod. Makasulod sila as guest. Pero most of the time, lisod sila ka, pasok. Uh, and then most of the teachers do not have Microsoft account. Is it possible nga Outlook account? Dawato na ba sa uh, uh, Microsoft Teams? Or katong yung approved nga 365 account? I know, sir, Ed, um, dapat supposedly same of domain, like that, uh, that gov.ph, because I think muna siya ang na i license ng Office 365 accounts. But, uh, yeah, another, another way for the others to, to join your team is by adding them as a guest, just by typing in their emails, no? And mm-hmm. another option could is for them, nga uh, hatagan gil pud og, um, access ilang DepEd accounts. In terms of Outlook naman, Outlook is also a Microsoft product. So if they're using an Outlook account, which is .deped.gov.ph, then that's already counted as an Office 365 account, sir. So possibly nga maghimo kong teams nga ili ka na sa DepEd kay kung ka ng Outlook, hindi na karaton siguro sa Teams. Yes, sir. Pero highly suggested, good sir, and recommended na you use your .gov na account to come mm-hmm. up with a team. And then from there, you can just add up na lang the other members who don't have Microsoft accounts or .ed accounts uh, as a approval niya the, the weird thing is na una pagka-approve ang among utility, mga driver o ADAS. So, dili man kayo na sila ga one of mga ga-include sa mga meeting. Ang mga uh, key officials noon, dugay man na-approve sa Microsoft. So, muna ang kasagaran Google Meet na lang akong kumiton. Kaya lison sa Microsoft Teams, kaya di sila kasulod. Kaya dili pa-approve ang ilang account. Yes, sir. Um, I think the ones handling the accounts right now is uh, DepEd Central, if I'm not mistaken, then course through the division ITOs. So, if baka pwede natin itap din yung ating mga ITOs to follow up on the accounts. Follow up na din siya, Pirmi. Thank you. Yes, question. Okay, thank you, thank you, Sir Dave, uh, is, uh, Ralph is here. Ralph is here. <laughs> yes, Ralph is very aware of the policy, yeah. the use of that template email account. May request uh, Ralph to say something about the issue. Ralph. Yes, Sir Ralph. Uh, pwede pong ma-answer yung, ma-address po yung ano, concern ni Sir Ed. Sir Ralph. Okay, so I guess uh, we will do that later because Ralph will be the next presenter. Okay, sige po. Um, do we have other questions? Okay, I'll try to look on the I know the chat from Mom Helen. Hey, Mom Helen, can we invite others in Microsoft Teams even if they have a different email account? Yes, po, ma'am. You can just add them to the team by typing in their email address. And then once you have already typed them in, uh, I hope ma share the screen, no? but I'm having a difficult time right now. But you can, uh, in the add members, kanina di ba na show ko po yung ano, add students or add teachers or add members. You just have to type their personal email address. For example, wandelacruz at gmail.com. Click on add as a guest. My add 
uh, invite as guest option to na drop down na lalabas dun, then you just click on that one and then add them to the team. Now, what happen, What will happen from there is that the the one which uh, the guest will be notified via email that they have been added to your team and then there's a link provided there na pwede po nilang i-click so that they can view their team as a guest and also join your video conference calls as a guest. So I hope that answers the question for Ma'am Helen. Regards ko, Ma'am Helen. Thank you, sir. Hello, hello, sir. Good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Okay, my uh, my question, sir, is about the, the teacher and the student account. So, wh what can you advise to them? What is the best account that they should create when they have the online classes using this platform? Um, same process, po, sir. Uh, on our end, because we our students also have their own Microsoft accounts, but I don't think it will be um, that feasible. But uh, we give Microsoft accounts to students from that end, uh, considering na uh, ibat iba o yung background nila, or and considering the context also. So what I'm suggesting is if they have their existing email addresses. I'm sure baka yung iba meron ng mga existing email addresses from Facebook. So pwede po yung gamitin. Just, get, just ask the teacher to collect these email addresses and then they can add these ad email addresses as a guest to the team. Okay, and then okay, thank you. Then ask na lang to, ano, to check on the email, the email inbox of the students for the link. Okay, thank you, sir. How come, sir? We've been hearing paradigm shift since year 2000, but only this time we are forced to experience a genuine paradigm shift. Exactly, sir. Uh, exactly, ma'am. I would have to agree with that. Ganina ra ko, ma'am. Nag-ask kay drama. Nag-lower akong hands. <laughs> okay na, ma'am. No one's judging you when, if you're watching kay drama. That's okay. Okay, any other questions, Papuba? I think we don't have questions anymore, Dave. Thank you very much for your time and the opportunity to share your expertise through this online learning training. Thank you very much, Dave. Until the next batch. Okay, thank you, Papuba. Okay. Thank you. For you as a resource speaker during this capacity building on online learning and orientation and recognition system professional development program for program holders and course facilitators, a regional web activity given at regional office then on May 22, 2020, presented at DepNet Office 10. Uh, Masterson Avenue on May 20, 2020. Signed by Dr. Atoro B. Bayoko, Season 3 Regional Director. Here is your certificate, David. We're going to send through your email. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank Open you. Thank you for all the microphone and let's give a round of applause to And let's say thank, thank you. For thank you. you. Thank 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 Okay, at this point in time, we are down to the last resource speaker. So, I think I'm much ready to take our with the many platforms that we have just heard. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the last resource speaker. Workplace by Microsoft. Let's welcome Ralph. Simon Mabulay of Regional Red 10. Ralph? Ralph Retto. It's your turn. Go ahead. Okay, hello, ma'am. 
kita kan. Hello, open your ma. Oke, okay. yes, welcome to the online training. Okay, hello, good morning. Um, my topic for today is gonna be siguro pinaka simple. It's a uh, uh, workplace by Facebook. Oke, okay, aku sayang ini. PowerPoint. Kita apa dia? Si Elson sama ini. Nana. Um, hello, makita na akong slide. Can you see my slide? Yes, sir. Kita na, sir. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Ako wala yung makita. Saro kayo. Okay na. Okay na. Okay, uh, good morning. So, I will be introducing to you how to use the workplace by Facebook. Okay. okay, what is a uh, workplace? So, actually, workplace is uh, it's a platform uh, made by Facebook na user for more, um, more like uh, inter more enterprise version of Facebook. So, uh, so now they put you for the same features of Facebook like newsfeed, groups, messages. Pero um, it's only uh, limited to the organization na nag-purchase aning workplace. So like sa ito, uh, naman tay workplace, uh, workplace sa DepEd. So tanan mem all members in the workplace is only uh, mga DepEd employees only. So mura siya um, DepEd Facebook. So in short, nana siya. So um, why workplace? So first is workplace is... Uh, One, um, first is uh, maka share kang information to your uh, you can easily share fa uh, share information information faster organization pareha sa uh, kananayan ay naka experience o kuan workplace kung kapansin ka sige post ang mga usec si secretary makita ni mo tanan dito uh, first hand jud okay especially is uh, the news feed Uh, new speed feature niya, ang magawas nyo na post is siyempre is DepEd mani. So DepEd related, dito tanan, unlike sa personal na nai, nai si mong friends, ina kani, only DepEd lang na infos ang gina, o ang gina share niya sa news feed. So, easy po niya is, uh, for example, mag collaboration mo. Like, parehara po sa Facebook is, uh, you can make ba, Facebook groups. In here in the uh, workplace, uh, even though DepEd tatanan, pwede makahin mo po mo og um, kuan, groups na like for your uh, regional, for example, regional office, we have a Facebook group, uh, regional office employees, or if you are na like, special committee like SBM, pwede po mo makahin mo like uh, members isang regional office o mga SBM na mga coordinators sa kuan, sa division. So, sa so, pili po na makabuhat dire sa uh, uh, workplace. So, syempre, uh, it makes uh, everyone's life easier. First is, uh, syempre, oh, tanan mo ta dire na ay Facebook. So, so kung sa feature sa Facebook, syempre, naarapod sa workplace. So, dali, radyo kayo. So, how to register? So, for those who haven't registered sa uh, workplace, wak pa nakagamit, Uh, you uh, easily go to uh, work that workplace dot com or mag uh, ka uh, Google search uh, Facebook workplace. Then uh, upon loading sa website kaniya magawas so 
um, i- ang imo ra i enter is your DepEd email. So, familiar nung dito tatanan sa tong DepEd email. It's uh, first name dot last name at deped.gov.ph. So, as soon as you input your uh, DepEd email, click continue. It will then send a um, notification code sa imong DepEd email. So, dapat di na to kalimtan o access ang atong DepEd email. So, um, Workplace has a lot of features, Nisha. So, we will just simply uh, concentrate on the three main features. So, to look above, it's the news feed, calls or messages, and ang groups. So first, as soon as you log into your uh, workplace, this is the, you know, this is the main, uh, the main interface. So sort of, uh, medyo light lang siya sa Facebook, pero narada po nara ang same features kay uh, meant ba ni for kuan uh, sa ni uh, for work uh, for workplace. So as you can see on the left, the um, the menu niya is on the left. So as you can see at uh, the top left icon is mo siyang home. Then the uh, next thing yeah, the one with the bell is the notification. So Peter Ralph, excuse me. Hmm? Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, we cannot see the slides. Yes, yes. sir. Wala slide, sir. From the hello. very beginning, sir. Wala slide. Oh, wala ni daga ni mong slide, sir. Ayaw ka doon yung picture. Ah, uh, ikansel sa nako, ha? Okay, thank you. Taguan ng udro. So, diwa ni Gawas niya. Ah, uh, wala pa ako pini upload. Oh, yeah, diba? Okay. Thank you. Hello, wala. Ah, na representing. Ana, kita na. Oh, nanay aktor mi gawas. <laughs> so, balik nang tagamay diri sa uh, registration. Kani makita na. Yes, boss. Kita na, sir. Kita na. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So, balik sa ta sa uh, we go back in the registration. So, to access your workplace uh, account, simply uh, just go to uh, work that workplace.com or you could search in google chrome um facebook workplace so as soon as you click the link this will be uh, the uh, landing page as you can see our teams connect to work uh, to get work done so to activate your account because uh naka purchase naman and depth an in workplace you simply have to input your depth and email so familiar matatanan so, inani, first name, that last name, at deped.gov.ph. So, you should, uh, and then after ana, click continue and mag-send din siya ang code sa imong deped email, which is uh, what you're gonna use to activate your workplace account. So, kanil uh, siya concentrate. So, newsfeed, calls, and groups. So, can, uh, can everyone see my kuan? PowerPoint. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, balik ta. So on the top, top left is kaniyang uh, mga double U na mga C then uh, logo is uh, the home. So parehong sa Facebook kanang home nato. Then below that is the bell icon which is the notifications. So same ra sa Facebook katong na nag like na nag post, notify mong Notify naman na feed. So, the third one is uh, murag ka ng thought bubble is for the chats. And then the bottom one is ka ng naay mong picture which is your profile. So, same as Facebook. So, uh, one of the features sa uh, uh, workplace is syempre the group picture. So, aside na we are already DepEd na tatanan diri sa workplace, sagol medyo tatanan na ay from other regions and the uh, COs. So we can also make groups same sa Facebook. So, uh, 
uh, as you can see, diri kan yung gi highlight na uh, kan yung gi square or red. Dara niyo makita ang face, uh, Facebook groups na you are inclu uh, included ka and you created. So same sa ko ah, na ICTS, Rito Dito, North Main Rocks Family, our workplace group sa uh, regional office. So muna siya. Then next, as soon as uh, you would enter a group, uh, one of the features is, uh, siyempre you can also post mga like announcements, files, pictures. So, same rin dapat sa Facebook. So, uh, sa ko lang, this is uh, another tip is uh, kung mag mo group, siyempre uh, napod mo yung kanang mga group rules po. So, this is my sample. Like sa ako mga personal na gapilan na group sa Facebook. So as you can see, mga reminder po sa mga members. So be kind and courteous. No hate, speech, or bullying. No promotions or spam. And uh, respect everyone's privacy. So what I did is uh, mag-post ko ani. Then ako dyan siyang i-pin. Para so kada mag-login ang mga ay, mong sulod sa group ang members, makita dyan at nila pirmi on top of the post sa group. So, ako yung i-demo. Uh, window. Kita na. So, kani mag live demo ko. So, this is my workplace uh, account. So, as you can see, mo ni akong groups. So, like, sample ta diri din is uh, North Main Rocks family. So, this is our workplace group. Uh, na she about. So, you can put description sa inyong group. Uh, descriptions. Yan. So, siya na group type. Then, also the post or na may may pang discuss so this is my uh, pin post kanya my group rules here also uh, mga group discussions and sharings uh, live video sir sir excuse me sir wala mi nakita sir nga kwan video ko amo nakita sir windows man is sir amo makita sir uh, uh, requesting okay. participants to put off the sharing option. Okay, thank you. Kani? Dili galo dyan. Wala dyan. Ano? Kani? Oo, okay na. Ah, kita niya. So, balik ka. So, uh, sample na ko is the North Main Rocks family na mo na group. So, as you can see, the, there's uh, same repos Facebook. You can put a cover photo. Na put she, um, about if you want to put descriptions uh, in your group. Uh, what is your group all about? And here in the post tabs, you can also put um, discussions. Ni mo, like, like this. Uh, Monica to akong group rules na akong gipin. So, every time you should a members, makita dyan na nila first. Dili siya matambunan. So, here are the posts sa groups and dis mga sharings and discussions. And you can also uh, share sa files sa mong group. Uh, here, uh, create document and upload a file. Para in kaso, um, like, uh, medyo uh, old na lugar ang um, uh, old na lugar ang file and uh, need di mo siya i-retrieve, you can simply go to the files sa imong group to retrieve the file mas higdaan na siya. Okay, you can also uh, search members sa group. Then sa right side na yung search bar. So, sample ta. Ano ba si Sir Lim? Ah, kanina lang si Sir Elson. Ah. Uh, Nandiyan si search feature within the group. Okay, so. 
balik ke footer. <laughs> Wah, napon? Ah, okay. balik na. Ha? Na, na, balik na. Balik na. Ah, uh, nag-switch ra ko og kuan presentation. Okay so, na, okay na. Yung okay. balik na pagko sa PowerPoint. So, new speed. Mm, so okay, thank you. So the, another feature is the new speed. Ah, uh, kani is uh, kani mainly gina-use jud ni for uh, sa mga central office na mga post dire. So Siyempre, we are all DepEd, uh, Dep DepEd employees in the koan, in this uh, workplace. So, uh, so everything na uh, the workplace is uh, sa feed is simply related to mga posts sa mga COs. So, it's for uh, easily for them to koan, mag spread of information. Uh, especially if nakapansin mo, sige, post diri si Yusik Alain. Uh, Parehan niya, sample na picture na ako. Muna yung Newsfeed, can you set to nga? Oh, here, newsfeed. So, next is uh, the third feature I'm going to discuss is the call. So, the same radio right upon sa Facebook. This is uh, calls or, or message, Ramanisha. So, um, example ta is. For, uh, for example, you're gonna search someone na uh, gusto niyo i-contact with, uh, within the organization. So, you can simply go to the search sa top left. Na search bar da, uh, um, search ka o oh, personnel. Then, uh, as soon as i-click ni mo siya, so muna ni siya. So, display iya hang uh, workplace profile. So, same ra sa Facebook profile. So, makita niya po ni mo here ang koan, contact info na pwede niyo siya makontact. Ah, uh, kani siya is uh, input bida po ni with the koan. With the employee siya mag-input dili ang koan central office. So you can also uh, here in the koan in the chat feature which is as you can see katong third na button sa left main menu. So this is the chat feature as you can see mo same bida po just Facebook na uh, May mga personal na kuan message na po yung group message diya po. So, um, in the bottom, this is uh, bottom sa screen, as you can see, you can also share pictures. Kanimra, the camera icon. The second one is the aning microphone. You can also send uh, audio message. Kaning GIF is uh, built in naman in uh, pictures sa uh, kuan workplace and uh, you can also attach files can you make hairpin the hairpin icon so on the top top right so can you see mamlita manakong git chat you can also follow the koan the uh, the employee kung gusto ni mo siya na sa iya mga activities mo gawas sa imong live feed ay sa news feed news feed so uh, same dia po, there is a top right na menu, and uh, there is also a kanimrog telephone, the third uh, third icon from the right. This is a uh, audio, if you want to make an audio call, kanang wala lay video. Then, uh, next in here from the right is the video call, so same ani akong gibuhat na uh, wa, anag video, uh, try to call uh, Ma'am Lita. So as, you, as soon as you click that, mo pop up siya window, which is uh, kanisha. So contacting. So same na diya po sa workplace o meet. Na siya uh, uh, camera na option. You can turn it on or off. Microphone and uh, drop the call, which is kanang red na icon. Ah, muna ito. So that is all for my presentation on the workplace. Actually, easy rejud siya kay same rejud siya sa Facebook. Hmm? Thank you, Ralph. Mm -mm. 
I hope we are learning from all the online apps that we can use for our teaching and training. Uh, Sir Raymond, you'd like to say a few words before we end the session? Okay, everyone, kindly open your microphone and let's say thank you to Ralph Mabulay. Thank you, Ralph. Thank, thank you, Sir Ralph. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you, Ralph. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you, 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 we are not yet done. We need to have a good start the other day, so we have to end this event. Uh, Michael. Okay, so before we we okay before we end, let me uh, continue this ten tips lang for successful webinars. Okay, so number one, I gave it last time. Uh, number one is know your attendees. So we know our attendees, our attendees in this room, of course, our superintendent, ASDS, our chiefs, supervisors. You are our attendees, you are our target participants. Number two is think about visual branding. So if you notice, uh, the presenters use uh, color of orange because that is our color for the uh, for the region and the number three is of course uh, we are all strangers here we need help no we need help especially from our experts from our IT experts they, they we we need them no of this activity number four since it is virtual and uh, we only have limited time you have to choose your topic no so in the in the design that you will uh, develop later on, be careful with the topic that you will choose. Tip number five is find a great speaker. So thanks that we have our good speakers uh, presented their inputs no, for the past three days. So a round of applause to our best speakers that we invited. Uh, number tip number six is of course we need a dry run, no? Because especially that we are new to this technology, we need a dry run. So of course before we started, no, uh, we we had a dry run. Tip number seven, you have to eliminate potential noise. Now if you are the host, alisin yung mga ingay ingay. That's why we always remind our online participants to mute the microphone. Number eight, tip number eight, you have to promote if you have uh, an activity, um, you have to make parang a e-poster to be posted at Facebook, no? That's so that everybody will know that there is an activity. So promote your webinar on social media. Tip number nine, of course, uh, we have to accept that things might go wrong. So may mga flaws. If you notice, may mga flaws. Okay, so again, we have the that acceptance and finally if you are the host you make a script no so meron kayong guide dyan para at least uh, kung ikaw ang uh, presenter alam mo kung anong gagawin so those were the 10 tips of uh, a successful uh, conduct of a webinar okay so 
for and behalf of our regional director, thank you so much. And of course, our online participants no, uh, attended this three-day uh, online learning. Thank you very much for your cooperation. And of course, your output, your output is to develop um, to develop a program uh, based on sa, uh, professional development because we are about to, of course, we're about to roll this out to the field, especially our school head and teachers. So the, the submission of your program um, proposal uh, will be on Ju on or before June 15. No, so yun po yung deadline on uh, the deadline on the submission of your program proposals. So again, uh, maraming maraming salamat uh, sa lahat no sa, sa itong first online on first online uh, training from the regional office. No, so uh, meron po tayong uh, what's this? Um, Kwame link. So please. Uh, uh, do the evaluation. So uh, that link, I mean, that Kwame tool uh, developed by Quad. So maraming salamat, Quad. So I think that's all. So to all of us here, congratulations. God bless us all.